Hello and welcome to episode 9.5 of the Inventory Tutorial series. I'm actually recording this from way in the future. I've already filmed quite a lot of extra stuff. Uh, I think episode 11 is currently out. But I'm just going to slot this in between because I've had a question from Watcher on the Discord, which if you want to join the Discord, there's a link in the description below. And they were asking how when you go over to a chest and you pressed E, it'd bring up the chest. But then if you press B, it'd bring up the same panel. So you couldn't, for your player inventory, so you couldn't put things from your actual inventory into the chest. But by the end of this video, we'll have fixed that. So we can have our inventory panel up here. So this is our player inventory. So you can see we can walk away from the chest. This is our backpack with our hotbar down here. And if we go over here and press E, we can then bring up our backpack, put some potions in there, split them, put them back in our inventory, split them, put them in our backpack, and walk away, come back over, press E, and we've got our chest and our backpack, and it's all the separate. So let's just jump straight into this quick little fix video. Okay, so there's a bit of a glaring issue with uh, the inventory project, which I haven't got around to fixing yet. Um, but it should be quite a simple fix. So you see here, we've got our backpack. If we press B, it uses the dynamic inventory um, panel. We can put stuff in our backpack instead of on our hotbar. But if we go over to um, this chest and we open up the chest, and then we open up our backpack with the B button, you can see it uses the same panel. So we can't put stuff from our backpack into a chest. We'd have to put it on our hotbar, then use the chest, and then put it into the chest, which obviously is rubbish. We don't we don't want it to do that. So let's just quickly fix that. And it's quite a simple fix. What we're going to do is we're going to drag our canvas. Um, we're going to expand our canvas, go to our inventory UI controller, and we've got our dynamic inventory pack here. Now I'm just going to shut the shop UI controller. So you can see you've got the dynamic inventory um, display. We've also got this player backpack. I don't know when. I made this. So let's just assume you don't have that and let's start fresh. So I'm just going to open up this prefab and delete the player backpack and we'll go back to our canvas here. So we've got our dynamic inventory panel. I'm going to control D and duplicate this and then just move this over to this side and let's rename this to player inventory um, panel. So we've got our dynamic inventory display here. Um, I'm going to go over to our um, inventory UI controller. So it seems I started to set up this player backpack panel and at some point, I don't know, maybe I didn't cover it, but that's no biggie. Um, if I do cover it in a later video, just skip past that bit. Okay, so you can see I've already tried to do this here. So um, we've got public dynamic inventory display, player backpack panel, and that's on our inventory UI controller. So let's just drag our player inventory panel over to the player backpack panel. And we can also see that in update, We've got a keyboard, current key dot escape key was pressed this frame. And if the player backpack panel is open, we'll just close it. And then here, we've got our inventory holder um, on dynamic inventory display requested. This is what's opening up the chest panel. And it's also opening up the um, player panel as well. So instead of doing that, let's, um, I'm just going to duplicate this method. So we'll just control C, control V, and let's name this to display player inventory and then on our player inventory holder script so we've got player inventory holder we've got here if keyboard dot current b key was pressed this frame frame on dynamic inventory display requested and then we're just going to invoke our primary inventory system and pass in the offset what i'm going to do um See, the, the version I'm working with here is from episode 11 of the backpack series. If you're jumping ahead to this one from episode 9, I'm not sure. I can't remember exactly when I implemented this offset. It may have been in a later video, but I'm responding to a question on Discord asking how we can do this. Um, and I'm going to slot this kind of in between episode 9 and 11. So this will be like a episode 9.5, as it were. So yeah, we should. So you should be able to follow along, but... There may just be some code that's not, you may see some code that's not kind of there yet, but it will be by episode 11. Um, so we've got if keyboard.current b key was pressed this frame, and we've got this uh, event here. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to create a new um, public static unity action. And just like on our inventory holder, this on dynamic inventory display requested, just to make it easy, I'm just going to copy that. I'm going to go back to our player inventory holder and let's just paste that in. And then we'll say on player inventory display requested. 
So now, when the B key is pressed, instead of doing on dynamic inventory display requested, we can say on player inventory display requested. And if it is, let's invoke it and pass in our inventory system along with the offset. Again, depending on when you're watching this video, you may have your backpack inventory system as a separate inventory system. I do rework it to just have one kind of system, but hopefully you can follow along. So we go back to our inventory controller. We just need to listen here. So um, we can do player inventory holder dot on player inventory display requested. And then we can plus equals the display player inventory. And we'll copy this and place it in our on disable function. So we've got our display player inventory system. We're going to call this. So now we just need to set our player backpack panel to true. And then we want to re refresh the dynamic inventory of the player backpack panel, not the inventory panel. So now if we press play and we can press B, that'll bring up our bag. We can press escape and close that. And let's just pick up some stuff. We can press B and we can place this in our bag. And you can notice an issue here that the icons are going behind the bag. I'll solve that in just a second. Um, but now when we go over to a chest and press E, and we can press B and we can bring up our bag and place them into the chest. And press escape and it'll close both panels. So now you've got your bag and the chest inventory are all separate panels. And then to fix the um, inventory UI controller with the player inventory being behind it. So to do that, let's um, come to our canvas and let's just apply all of our changes that we've just done. And then let's try and drag the mouse object below player inventory. It'll ask to open up the prefab. And then we just need to make sure this is at the bottom of the UI inventory controller window because anything that's at the bottom renders on top of the stuff above it, which I've never really liked. I wish stuff at the top would render above. It's a bit more kind of like Photoshop them with different layers. But you can see that if we go over our backpack, if we go over, pick up some items, pick up an item, and now it's rendering on top of our backpack. Put our swords in, and then we can come over here to these chests, and then we can pop some stuff into the chests. And also as a sneak peek, I've just finished recording all of the shop tutorial stuff. So that is coming up in the future, just as a little little sneak peek. I'm actually working from like episode 15 of the inventory tutorial series, which includes the shops. So that's just a, a little sneak peek. Um, but yeah, I hope that solves your issue. If you've been having that issue, um, I can't remember if I address this in a future video. If I do, just skip past that bit. Thanks for watching. Bye.